Hello everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Today's video is a bit different. If you're here just for cross stitch, today's video may not be for you um, unless you like seeing quilt blocks come together. Um, so welcome. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of video, thank you for watching. Um, this is month two of the Shine On Sampler Quilt from the Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee Book. I signed up for Fat Quarter Shop's uh, Block of the Month program that they created to make this sampler quilt. So every month starting in November, they send out one month's worth of blocks to do. And usually there are several blocks to do in that month because there's a lot more than 12 blocks. It's a 12 month program. So uh, I got the second month's uh, fabric comes like this in a little bag with a sheet detailing the blocks and all the fabrics. Um, I really like how they do this. Uh, they always give plenty of fabric. Obviously you're paying for it, but they give you plenty of fabric. It's the one thing that I talk about often about Fat Quarter Shop that I really like about their their block of the month programs. You get plenty of fabric. If you made a mistake, don't worry, you've got plenty of fabric. And the other time I've done a block of the month and I have heard from other people, this is true for them as well, you have enough fabric left over to make another quilt. Uh, and for me, when I made another quilt, I mean I made another big lap size quilt. It wasn't like a baby quilt size, it was a big quilt. I had enough fabric to do the entire front of that quilt. Um, I mean, it was great. I loved it. Um, all right, so the the sheet that they send with it, with their block of the month, which I really like, tells you the block that you're gonna be making. Let's see if this will focus. So we're gonna be making the bloom block, and then it gives you little fabric swatches on bobbin shapes. How cute is that? I can't even. Um, tells you how much of each fabric you've got. Uh, and, and they do that across for each one because like say with this print this white 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 it's all the same fabric so it lets you know which fabric piece when they give you the sizes of each fabric that's included lets you know which block it goes to so bloom block the butterfly block and then the celebrate blocks uh very excited to get to this month's blocks so basically there's not going to be talking. I'm not going to be showing a lot of in-depth how-to stuff. Uh, it's just going to be kind of a sped up, watch the blocks come together. Uh, I don't show the parts where I'm cutting out the shapes or the pieces because um, it gives away the dimensions of, of the blocks and I don't want to infringe on their pattern. Uh, and show that um, you need to buy the book if you want to know the pattern dimensions and stuff basically all you'll see are the blocks um, as they come together each piece joined that's that's what you see um, so let's get started now this may take a couple days to do so uh, I'll I'll likely be dressed differently at the end of the video when I wrap it up because it's just it, 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 I can't, I, I highly doubt I can get all four of these blocks done in one day. I mean, I could if I didn't have distractions, but as you probably could hear the dog yelping in the background to let me out, let him out of the room, those, it's life, right? All right, let's get started on these blocks. <laughs>
It is now Saturday morning. I don't even know what the date is. 23rd. Uh, it is two days after I started the blocks. I actually was so close to having them done last night, but then I had to stop, go make dinner. Um, I just, it just didn't get it done in time. But yeah, all the blocks are done now. Um, had so much fun doing them uh, this month. This month's blocks was a lot of fun. Um, this one was probably my favorite block. Uh, I love it. This is a 10 and a half inch wide by 20 and a half inches tall block. And I have a ruler that is 20 and a half inches square. So I was able to square this up nicely. But yeah, I love this block. It makes me so happy. Um, and then the other little block, these were the most intense blocks to do. Um, but they were fun. I like them. I, I haven't pieced like this in a while. Um, and I, I really just, I really enjoyed all of the piecing. Um, I wanted to talk about this block really quickly here, the butterfly block. You may have noticed, I like to show the backs. I don't know why I just do. Uh, but you may have noticed that most all of my blocks, I press, uh, the seams to the side. I didn't used to do that. I used to always press them open because I really like flat blocks. However, that just takes a lot of work to press them and make sure they stay flat. And I just, I got lazy. Uh, and, and now I just press them to the side. However, I kind of do a combination of how I press the seams. Sometimes I'll press them open, sometimes to the side. However, I press them, it is always to reduce bulk in the seams like right here if i would have pressed this seam to one side or the other there would have been an incredible amount of bulk there and you don't want that because when you or your quilter go to quilt them you want to reduce as much bulk as possible so that when your needle runs over that area it doesn't break the needle the snap the thread or anything like that so um yeah that's if you notice when i turn this around this is the I think this is the only one where I had a seam pressed open. That's why. Uh, I wanted to talk about two of the tools that I used, uh, that I use every time that I really, really uh, am grateful that I have. One of them, actually the Fat Quarter Shop sent me these Alpha Bitties. They sent me these. They sent me the double letter Alpha Bitties um, as part of like a, some of our new products. And so I was like, well, I want the... I want the first set. So I bought myself the first set alphabetties, biddies. This helps because in the book, let me show you. When you cut out your pieces, um, let me just give a random other, other pattern. They label like cut out so many squares. Let's see if that'll focus. Uh, there, cut out so many squares and these are A. Uh, so many of these squares are B. Um, and some of these patterns with lots of pieces, I've never done this before, not till I got these alpha bitties. Um, I, I use these. You'll see them when I put them on the video. I just put a little clip on them and, and this really turned out ha handy for the blocks with lots of different pieces in them. So I've really enjoyed that. The other thing I've been using uh, when I press my seams uh, and I, I really want to get them to lay flat. I've been using my Taylor's clapper and this really like I'll press them Set this on press other things and then set it on that So it sets on the the block for like 15 to 30 seconds and it gets them nice and flat um, So those are two tools that I I use um, And I really love them. They really help um and that's it. Uh, I wanted to talk about fabrics I had left over. Okay, so these are the fabrics left over from this month's block. Uh, these are the ones I cut into. These are the ones I didn't even use at all. Um, wait a minute, did I use this one? No. Uh, this one, one of the other blocks, I, one of the other, let, let me get my papers. Yeah, okay. I didn't use the second one because I had enough of this fabric up here, so I used that. Uh, same with this, this fabric. I just, for this block, I used the leftover fabric from up here. This one I had from last month, 
So I used last month's piece and, uh, not last month, the first month's block. And I still have this much left over from the very first months. This was a 10 by 10 square. That's how much I used out of it for the, the first month's block and the second month's block. Um, this one I used from the first month's block. Same with this one. So these are full pieces I didn't even cut into. This month, they gave me a lot of the white fabrics. I still have a 9 by 20 inch piece and a 3 8 inch yard piece. With the white fabric, I used the leftovers from the first month and I cut into a uh, the 18 by 20 inch. They also gave me this month an 18 by 20 inch piece and I used that one up and these are just my little scraps left over from that. So I save all my scraps, all my little scraps, even the one inch pieces because um, I, I've been cutting things as small as an inch. So these are fabrics. Uh, oops, I, I sort of mixed up my fabrics here. All right, here. These are fabrics left over from month two. No, these, I forgot the white. These are still my fabrics left over from month three. Now, Melissa had mentioned, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, another option for using all these leftover fabrics if you don't want to make another quilt top is to make a scrappy backing. Scrappy backings are so much fun. If you've never made one, I would highly recommend doing it. You just put your pieces up on a design wall. You just put them all together. You can make designs, you can do whatever, but it's like two quilts in one. It's a double-sided quilt. Scrappy backings are so much fun. I learned them a long time ago from Elizabeth Hartman. She talked about them. So all this, I, I already bought backing, but all this extra fabric, that you have left over if you don't have backing planned already you got it just make a scrappy backing um so fantastic tip from melissa thank you for the reminder uh and that's it so thank you so much for joining me um this month on my making the uh second month's shine on sampler blocks this morning i just got charged for month three so this was perfect timing that should be on its way to me next week I'm very excited I'm super glad I got this done before that got here um, so yeah I will see you in the next video thank you for joining me stitch all the things quilt all the things sew all the things have fun with all the things I'll see you next time Bye.